there, there does seem to be, although at every tournament there are surprises, there are new players, there are people who make upsets happen, there are also these very consistent placers as well, and these are two of them. Yep. So Tokido with Ryu, and Ken for Momochi. No shot that the Lunar Finals comes down to the issue too. And look at that, Momochi going through, crouching the end of the uppercut and the little footsies for a whiff punish. Already we've seen some really high level stuff from him. That's amazing uh, uh, jump in timing. The punish on the Hurricane with Fireball was there. He had the confirm on Crash Medium Kick with the whiff punish. All those things just in the first 10 15 seconds. Oh, oh thought wow. he had it. No. Yeah, and so that's costly. Big damage there for Tokido. And, that, and also corner position as well. You see, oh, wow. Momochi called out Tokido's couple of dashes. Tokido got away with it once, and then immediately the next time, Momochi with the crouching, I'm sorry, with a back medium punch. That confirm. And if you can confirm back strong, okay, by itself, then you are definitely going to confirm. Stan Roundhouse in the V-Trigger, and consistently he has done so today. Now, Stan Roundhouse, you have to space it well. Okay, it's not it's not free. Now, it can be punished, in fact, uh, by a lot of characters if you do it at the, right, at the wrong spot. But Momochi has been doing it at the right spot, and he has been confirming it into a lot of damage when he's gotten the hit. Wow, just throwing out the standing round. walk into it, and he's going to spend the meter to get that big chunk of damage right away. Tokido with a parry attempt. Not sure what he was trying to parry. Momochi and Momochi again has been having such a long road and losing track and <laughs> so yes. many players it would not surprise oh! me if he just had needed to do one more no, but too, drop. too far away that crowd fierce didn't hit where he wanted it to and that's gonna go into the super is this gonna be enough not quite just a little bit left and wake up crouch oh oh my very God. dangerous for both. There's the low! He thought it was gonna be the overhead, but it was canceled. We've seen that happening from Momochi for the last two games with Ken. Street Fighter 4 as well, Street Fighter 5. I am Momochi taking game one. It is a best of five here. Round this is one. losers finals. Winner has a chance to go to grand finals. Let's go. Nice. Good reaction to uppercut. The decision making on when to move forward, both of these players, when to move backwards, uh, I, just, I think it's very interesting. They, they go through these phases of, I'm going to play patiently for a while, I'm going to play defensively for a while, almost to goad each other in to try to make something happen. Wow, that barely sideswiped, but it did hit. And here comes Tokyo, he gets the big dance combo. Trying to get some pressure back in. Look at that dash right up the throw, but what a nice throw tech from Tokido. Yeah, that was the attempted punish. It's possible, but I, I don't know if that was just the wrong spacing or what. Oh, he gets out of the corner. That's very crucial for Tokido. But now only with barely a life lead. He gets the jump in. Both yeah, of these the guys. Entrance. Now, both of these players have been hiding their jump so well. I have seen so few uppercuts from either of these players. Right, and they both have excellent reactions. They both have excellent uh, anti-air ability. It's just that it's tough to do both. It really is tough to play so uh, focused on the ground and to know exactly when to back off, when to move forward, and anti-air simultaneously. Few people can do that. It takes a lot of concentration. Tokido really doesn't want to throw a fireball. Well, Tokido is, uh, he's, honestly, I feel like he's close to losing this. If he gets hit, oh, next mix up. Either way, super. No! Oh! No! You Tokido takes it. He got that overhead kick. I don't think there's anything Momochi could have done to have taken through that round. I don't think there was enough time. I just don't think, yeah, unless so. Tokido just let go and he just hit Pierce with an uppercut or something like that. Alright, Tokido with that first round. Momochi getting in there with the throw, tries to go for a second one. From the range they off that they often play at. It doesn't take long to walk up and get the grab, right? Momochi could have done it right there. It's just, it's like I said, moving forward right into your opponent's personal space is one of the scariest and hardest things to do because any button they press will get you. Spent bar just to make sure he had the corner. Oh, no, super, he saved it. Maybe now. No, oh, saves it again. Save it. 
now. Tokido's usually pretty liberal with his super usage. Not the case right now. Wants to make sure. Who I'd imagine if he hit right. Ooh, that might have been fire. Oh, I'm surprised to not see V Trigger cancel on that stand medium kick. Yeah. I feel like that's what Ryu tends to look for in this situation right here. He's got a button and medium kick that hits very far uh, for this game, and it, it's confirmable to somebody like Tokido, and yet he didn't go for it. Okay, advantage. Whoa, but Tokido taking advantage right. himself. Oh, here comes Momochi. Got it. Momochi's timing of the four dash is so good. And yeah, you see, they're so concentrated. Oh, wake up, crouching short. Wow! Yes! <laughs> Sometimes you'll see wake up, crouching medium kick, but wake up, crouching short jab. In the super. And Tokido's going to take game number two. Look, I, I mean, look, Tokido has never been the best at playing footsies and still being able to anti-air uppercut. I've always noticed, like, of all the show players, he, he's the weakest at Fight. that. But I don't even know of a good player at that right now can uppercut so consistently because these guys are so laser-focused on this ground yeah. game right now. Man, those jumps literally are coming from nowhere. That's really how it feels. Yeah, if you're watching it, if you're watching a match, you know it's tough when all the guy jumps and you're like, whoa, he jumped? And you know that means if you were playing, you probably wouldn't have up better Right, either. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is again, that stand, that light punch. Luckily for Tokido, though, there was no EXDP. No EXDP. Yeah. Just like that, Momochi with this crazy rush down in the corner. Look at this light lead that he has. And Tokido's gonna land on that fireball. Beautiful. And get launched right into the hand of Bison. Your soul is mine. Wrong ah, okay, so the variation there was dash forward, not grab. It was Pierce for the counter. Ooh. Again for the counter. And close the stun. Great low blocks from Tokido. Oh. The navigation around the sweep was beautiful. Because you know Tokido's looking for it. He wants to activate it. <laughs> he wants sweep activation. And so Momochi played attention to that exact range. And he had the whiff punish. And then approximately two and a half billion damage to take the round. Momochi on the right right there. Tokido on the left. Both have to be very focused. As, as Tokido, you don't want to have made it to winner's finals at an event like this and then lose two in a row. Not just because that sucks, but because uh, that's a bunch of Gs you're giving up. <laughs> it's a bunch. Yeah. Uh, Momochi is looking so strong right now. Tokido having to do a Punish. miraculous wake up uppercut. Wake up back strong though. So that both of them are, are going for that you know when when one person starts to do something like that you often see the other have the same idea yep and i think that did happen there a couple of times and now momochi is at match point to be able to make it into grand finals tomorrow can he seal it with this round right now and immediately walking right up with those back medium punches trying to apply that pressure look at that range and you see just stand there yeah I think, okay, he had the range a little bit wrong, but I love that he's willing to do it. So Kido, in fact, backed out of it once. Just didn't feel comfortable. Okay, Tokido now maybe with a chance to pressure. There has been, I would say there's been more backward movement from him in this set, especially after the game he won, than there has been forward movement. All right, so just enough screen space for Momochi to get the jump back OS, and now he's pushed Tokido in the corner. Backdash just a little too slow to be able to punish that <laughs> throw What a in. punish. He's out of there. Oh, that's punishable. But oh, it's so much more. Yeah. Sukito trying to stay alive. Oh, he gets what the jump in. And that's going to do it if he doesn't drop this combo. Yes. And he saves all that meter. We have to see more gutsy plays like that. Final that's what ended round. up taking the round right there after so long of of playing on the ground. Especially against such a flashy fighter. See, both just don't want to commit. He's trying to be a little bit too aggressive on the offense. Oh. Yeah, deciding on, on when to go in is, is really tough in this kind of situation. Oh, a back throw. Momochi has corner. No, not anymore. Tokido now has the corner for himself. That said, not anymore. 
That's what he did to Haitani! Just the wake up uppercut and the super, and it worked again! It's the difference between that very display right here, and then all of a sudden wake up Dragon Punch Super. Right? That's why Dragon Punch Super hits, because yep. it's so unexpected. Oh wow, nice auto correct uppercut. That could have been combo in the super. Just getting the meter on that uppercut. Tokido now fishing for that stand medium kick. Gotta think he's looking for the V-Trigger cancel to get into super. If he does hit that, he's gonna take this round, he's gonna take this game, send it to the last one. That's what he wants, so Momochi's just staying oh, no, away, away from it. You see where Momochi's playing, it's outside of stand medium kick range or jumping right through. Oh, okay, so no more V-Trigger. You know what, he just doesn't want to deal with that mix-up. Oh, oh, that no! might be it! It is. What happened? That was such an odd timing, maybe? That was supposed to be EX Hurricane, and that, just he missed one of the buttons? I, I, I think that's what it must have been, because, you know, sometimes you do see Ken, especially in V-Trigger, jump around with Air Hurricane, right? That's fine, but it was more on the way up that he did it, right. and that's not what uh -huh, you want. Exactly. You come out with floatiness like that. that. If that had been EX, it would have been a different story. That is the timing that you typically oh, want to do the EX yeah. Hurricane, Fine. so I just... A little bit of an execution error, as we said. It's been a long day, but great start! So this one, right away, taking a fourth of Tokido's life in this first round. Nice stand, light punch check from Tokido. And then an autocorrect uppercut. He's gonna get the counter hit. Look at his combo. forward play right now by Tokido. It's not just the distance. He's really moving forward, and Momochi recognized it, and he gets the hit as a result. Momochi trying to outrange that medium kick. Whenever there has been V trigger on Ryu's side, you see Momochi try to stay away from sweep, yeah. away from medium kick. Just takes it, just takes it. Oh wow, okay. Got an anti air uppercut. Like I said, we haven't seen a lot from the two, but I definitely. Lovely. Think Momochi has, it has better reactions for that than Tokido does. Now Tokido, I think, is looking for the air approach. Or maybe. Maybe not. Oh, Ooh. into something else? Yes. Any more hits gonna do it? Ooh, empty jump. And Tokido makes this happen. EX at an unusual timing. Oh. And then jab into back medium. That's a very common hit confirm from Ken. I think that's just what Momochi was going for. But Tokido blocked, then tried to make something happen, expecting maybe a, a, a shimmy 2016 mix up to back off. It didn't come. Match point Momochi. That's right, but a great standing roundhouse to crush counter that run. So last round, Momochi got basically a free 25% damage at the start. This time, Tokido gets a basically a 30% free damage at the start. Oh, you know what? His own Dragon Punch Super. Why not? Again, he's played very solidly as well. Another one of those anything you can do, I can do better moments. Oh, no uppercut for Momochi. Tokido keeps trying to get the punish to stand short on Stan Ranoff. That I don't know if it's the range or the timing that sets off. Oh, a trade. Oh, and the fireball made it through. We're going to the final round here to see who makes it to last. Grand Finals. Tomorrow it's going to be one of these two. Last game, last match. Tokido versus Momochi. In a nail biter, Momochi, of course, sitting on much more resources. Again, there he's again. Own. The uppercut and the super. So just like that, Momochi with a huge life lead. And he moves forward, looking for crush counter. It did not come. Again, looks for crush counter. Oh, a nice auto-corrected uppercut once again. Turn around and uppercut. He, he did go for the run cancel. It was here in the very last round, potentially, of the day. Okay, Tokido with a back throw. He's getting close to building a super. He wants that super. But he can't, he can't obsess over it. He's got to do the damage when he can. Oh, that was a counter hit, not a punish. Ooh, Tokido oh, yeah. is... Almost on the ropes right here. He needs to move around very cautiously or else go totally nuts. It's got to be something. Cautiously it is. Oh, no! No, no super? A super. Right. Got, well, I don't know if you wanted to spend it there. I'm right. not sure. I've got to think he had the ability to get the confirm. Momochi trying to move forward. There's the run cancel again! Again! We haven't seen Momochi do run cancel the entire day. And in the final round, at the most tense moment, that we've seen in a long time in Street Fighter V. That's when he brings it out. It was perfectly calculated to work right then. Genius that he would bring it out right there after a day of solid fundamental play. All of a sudden, there are the run cancels, and they worked. And that